You care about our children and you care about our staff. You put your words into action. All these communities that say they value education, you value education. You don't just say it. Tonight's about appreciation. It's about being grateful, recognizing and naming those who contributed beyond what is ever expected. The 2019 Wald Lake Schools PTSA Council and each of our school PTSAs is to be commended and thanked. You really want the best for our students. You'll settle for no less, and we love that about you. Our job is to educate the whole child and to help each one to become giving and caring members of our community, and I think we are doing that. And I don't know about you, but I am absolutely amazed at the outpouring of community support and the things that our students lead and that I know PTA and PTSA has a hand in, whether it's food drives for Hospitality House, You Matter Week to bring about awareness for mental health, social justice groups to promote diversity and inclusion, I could go on for a while, but I think you understand all the things because you're in the middle of it and you're helping. Her counselor, Dr. Mary Jo Hecker, recommended Megan with the support of the entire counseling department. She's the daughter of Karen and Andy Coden. She has two sisters, Kendall and Mackenzie, and a brother, Kyle. Megan is a, has a great intellect and truly enjoys math and science. She's an AP scholar with distinction, taking 11 AP courses, earning A's in every class, and five on each of her exams. Her GPA is currently a 4.405. This is prior to the calculation of her five additional AP grades this semester. Megan is a finalist for the United States Presidential Scholars Program and one of our four graduating Wald Lake seniors who was awarded the National Merit Finalist, which puts her in the top 1% of students in the country. She's earned a perfect ACT composite score of 36. She's applied to Northwestern, the University of Michigan, the University of Chicago, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, and Kalamazoo College. The winner of the Megan Coden uh, lottery is the University of Michigan. <laughs> where she will attend next fall. She plans to study chemistry. Megan was also the captain of our unified gymnastics team. Individually, she earned academic all-state and academic all-American honors. Uh, she has founded the Kids Helping Kids Club, and she is a two-year member of National Honor Society. She plays the violin in our orchestra, loves to read, and enjoys speaking Spanish with her friends who live in Spain. I often talk about Wald Lake Schools as a family and the history and dedication of our students' academic excellence and commitment to Wald Lake. Megan is a shining example of these attributes. It is my honor and privilege to present Megan Coden as the Wald Lake Central Irene Daniels Scholarship recipient. Hannah is a wonderful, caring individual who has a wonderful smile that brightens up a room. She's part of a very competitive, a, varsity, a part of our very competitive varsity softball team and part of the National Honor Society where she is the chair of our SNAP and PALS program. While she's not studying and playing softball, Hannah helps tutor, her stu tutor students in her neighborhood who have learning disabilities. For the past two years, Hannah has worked with our students in the ASD program. Mrs. Wagner, one of the teachers in the program, told me that Hannah's compassion, dedication, and ability to work with our autistic population is an inspiration to her. She confided in me, though, that she's not sure what's going to happen next year without having you in one of those classes, and she's really worried about that. <laughs> Hannah will be attending Grand Valley State University, majoring in exercise science, and then moving on to occupational therapy. Hannah will be greatly missed at Wald Lake Northern, but like Mrs. Irene Daniels, she has left a legacy of caring for students who need some extra loving care. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Ms. Hannah Erdman, Northern's Irene Daniels Scholarship winner. In the time that I've known Carly, I've learned that she's a kind, warm, dedicated, and mature young lady beyond her years. Carly is greatly respected by her peers and staff alike. In addition to Carly being an, an outstanding, strong-minded student, she is dedicated and determined to enriching the lives of students, staff, and community members surrounding her. Indeed, a selfless, selfless individual. 
Kali's presence at Western plays an integral part in, in our learning community as she positively impacts those around her. Carly's scholar and integrity led her, led her induction into the National Honor Society. And as a member of NHS, Carly volunteered at a variety of different school events and has offered her time and talents to support her local community. Because of her genuine heart, Carly finds, truly finds enjoyment serving others in a variety of roles, including as a, as a member of our student council. As a leader through student council, Carly volunteered her time with an assortment of philanthropic activities and worked collaboratively with others to plan countless school events. From time to time, Carly likes taking risks. Even though it pushed her out of her comfort zone, Carly challenged herself by joining the ski team. Though her experience on the ski team led to continued ankle injuries, Carly continued dem demonstrating support for her teammates and their commitment to her sport. Carly's maturity, Dedication, altruism will, will serve her one day as she decides to engage and be part of the global economy where she, works with, where she will work with people from all corners of the globe. Outside of school, Carly continues to build her community. She often babysits for young children, demonstrating her patience and trustworthiness. Currently, Carly works as a member, as a, uh, I'm sorry, as a uh, building attendant at the Novi, uh, for the city of Novi, where she works with people of, of all ages and helps with an assortment of tasks. Carly also spends a great deal of deal time, uh, I'm sorry, Carly also spends a great deal of time building into the lives of her peers through youth group, through her youth group at church. It is evident that Carly is a young lady with impeccable time management skills, impressive character, a kind heart, and a remarkable follow through. Recently, Carly made an appointment with me and shared her thoughts on some things that pertain to Western. I am, I am happy to say that I will take her advice and, and her recommendations. And, and she knows what I mean when I say that. <laughs> there's a saying, there's a saying that states that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Carly attributes her way of life as, as she observes her mother, as she has observed her mother join PTSA and engage, engaging in, in school functions, as she may one day do the same. Next year, Carly will be attending Michigan State University. Congratulations. Foundation for Excellence and PTSA have missions that work hand in hand. Both organizations spend their time doing whatever they can to help support our students, staff, and community. So it only makes sense that we work together. And working with Michelle is a pleasure. When you talk about someone who has a passion for what they're doing, Michelle epitomizes that. As you probably saw earlier tonight, she is energetic and excited about what she does, and our schools are lucky to be the beneficiaries of her work. Thank you, Michelle, for being such a strong supporter of our staff and our community as a whole. What you do every day truly does make a difference, and we are so honored that you spend those days helping out Wild Lake schools. Thank you. Melissa has been our council treasurer for the past two years. Sure, at the council level, treasurer job is not all that overwhelming, but Melissa has become so much more than that. She has sat through countless audits with various P school PTAs and answered question after question after question from schools and myself about how PTA financials are supposed to be handled. Beyond that, Melissa has shown up to every event we've had to help set up, She's always helping in the background in some way or another, and frequently is the voice of reason on our board. While we're sad that she's leaving council, I am thrilled to say that I have managed to rope her into a volunteer job at Wald Lake Northern, so we can still use her talents until her son graduates next year. Thank you, Melissa, for all the time you've given us these past couple of years. You will be missed around here. And Jen Ludwig is also leaving our board this year, but will certainly keep herself busy as the new PTSA president at Wald Lake Western. They are lucky to have you. <laughs> Jen has had the role of vice president on council for the last three years and recently added bond committee chair to her resume. Jen spent a great deal of time and energy organizing the bond committee members to make sure we were all maximizing our exposure while trying not to overwhelm anyone with much more work. As a parent of children at Wald Lake Western, Jen was not going to see this bond fail. 
She was a force to be reckoned with on social media and didn't back down to the naysayers no matter what was thrown at her. <laughs> Without Jen as a fierce ally, I'm not sure we would have seen the results we did on the bond vote. Jen is an amazing person who steps up whenever she is needed and continues to prove how much this district means to her. Thank you, Jen, for always being there for our council and for our community as a whole. So most people in the Keith community know Tony as the invisible dad. While certainly there's nothing invisible about his presence at our school daily, it is Tony's humble approach to supporting all students that continually impresses me the most. Three years ago, as a new principal at Keith Elementary School, I had the pleasure of meeting Tony to discuss an Invisible Dad lunch program at our school. While I was certainly on board with this idea, at the time I had no inspirational how, how inspirational your story is, how positive and true your heart is for all of our students, and how your message would become a part of our parent mission at Keith. Tony explained that as a child, he had unfortunately understood hunger. While many of us in this room cannot comprehend what hunger must feel like, let alone feel like for a child, we can certainly appreciate that there is something we can do about it, and Tony would say that we must do it for all of our children, not just our own children. Tony talked with me and several local journalists about his profound need to fix this adult problem, and so we began an Invisible Dad Lunch program that is really quite simple and something that we can all do. Tony shared his own experiences about the times when he felt different when he was growing up. One of those times was when he was at school getting lunch, and the meal he was served was different than that of the other students because he didn't have enough money in his lunch account balance and was served cheese and crackers. When Tony learned that this practice is still true in schools today, he knew he had to effect change. So Tony started an Invisible Dad lunch program where he stands invisibly in line with students and pays for their meals when they do not have enough money in their lunch accounts. Tony has donated hundreds if not thousands to this program, but his time, his gift is inspiring others to support this program and make this mission sustainable throughout all of our schools in Wald Lake. The first time Tony mentioned this to me, I was sure he meant for this to help students who had a true need. I even used myself as an example. As a working mom, there have been times in my own life where, just like all of you, probably get the automated Wild Lake Schools food service account calling because your balance is too low. I know I've done it myself, and my own children have had to eat cheese and crackers too because in my haste, I forget to put money in the account. But Tony humbly noted, it was not my son's problem. It was my problem that I forgot, yet he was the one having to suffer. And so, to be honest, let's be honest with all of us, we all forget at times. So if we can help out by making a small donation to supporting our own kids' schools with their Invisible Dad lunch programs, what a difference we could all make. No child would go hungry, no child would be made to feel different, and all because Tony Casanova had a vision and a mission in his heart for our children. I believe these experiences and contributions to our school and community have proven that Tony Casanova is determined to make a difference in our world, and I believe Tony's actions speak volumes, and it's my honor to recognize Tony this evening. Thank you. This person has a selfie stick as his third arm. He's captured the hearts of thousands of kids over the past 16 years in Wild Lake Consolidated School District. First as a vocational and business teacher at Wild Lake Northern, then as an interim co-principal at Wild Lake Central, and for the past nine years as principal at Wild Lake Central. He is Mr. Wild Lake Central. He's the face, even if you only see half of it in most of his selfies. <laughs> There's photos of him year after year leading the homecoming parade, honoring students for everything from athletics to performing arts, scholarships, and so much more. Even a photo of him last week holding Neb Stojkovic's new one-month-old baby, Milo. He'll do anything for a selfie. <laughs> Speaking of performing arts, he's been the king in many of the biannual Viking feasts. He's had bit parts in almost every play since he's been a principal at Wild Lake Central. But Chuck Morgan doesn't just play. He cares about kids, wants them to achieve, and most importantly, he wants them to love school, to love learning, and to have fun while they're in high school. A lot of fun takes place with the selfies, of course, but this is Chuck Morgan's way of building relationships, 
intentional communication and sharing the accomplishments and achievements of both students and staff. He's so proud of his students, his staff, and his school community. He shows that by his attendance at football games, basketball games, plays, concerts, National Honor Society fundraisers, and the list is endless. I think he lives there, I think he has a bed there, and it folds up somewhere in the wall. <laughs> he lives the old adage, actions speak louder than words. He's proud of his own family too. His son, Elliot, just graduated from Grand Valley. And I think Elliot might be here, John. He's proud of his family and his own children, especially Zachary, who's a med student at MSU. He's proud of his family and his own children, even Maggie, especially Maggie, who's a New York City aspiring actress. I'm pleased to honor Chuck Morgan as the Wild Lake Schools PTSA Council Administrator of the Year. But before I do this, everyone has to um, join in. And on the count of three, give a huge go Vikings, okay? <laughs> One, two, three. Go Vikings! So I was totally surprised until I opened up the uh, program, and of course I couldn't come up here and say nothing, so I, I wrote something while I was sitting there. Um, Ken told me a couple weeks ago when he visited the building, he gave me a compliment and I immediately started talking about the entire building, and he said, stop, take the compliment. So before I go on, thank you, thank you all. Um, there's serendipity in, in life, you know, I've been doing this for 30 years and I looked at the list and there's 30 years of employees that have gained this honor and the, the sad but true but happy piece of that is I know or personally have worked with 26 of the 30 people on that list and it's an honor to be included with them. You can't do this job alone, um, you know, the group that I've worked with in the building includes Mr. Eric Henderson, Dennis Wazinski, Greg Riley, Julie Amon, Joe Bell, Mike Frey, Michelle Kalhorn, and Jen McKittrick. The last three who I'm proud to say are principals of their own buildings. That old adage, surround yourself with greatness, um, that's what um, I've been able to do in my career. My own colleagues, um, we have vast experience. The cabal started a few years ago. Um, I've learned is the, a secret society. Um, we just met as a group of small administrators to talk about education and it's really expanded my knowledge and I appreciate um, that very much. Um, vast experience of all our colleagues in the district. Um, anytime you ask anybody to, to help you or to do anything, um, they're there, elementary, middle school, high school. Particularly my colleagues, uh, Mr. Greg Diamond, who I consider a friend over the past 12 years, and then Mr. Ali Hamka, who's joined us this year. I look forward to the work that we do together. To our cabinet, thank you for setting the bar high and expecting the best. My growth wouldn't have been possible without you. And finally, to students in our community, thank you for the honor of being able to serve you as the principal. I'm humbled, <coughs> sorry. I'm humbled that you allow me to touch the future through your child's education. Thank you. It is my honor this evening to give the Lifetime Member Award to someone who spent the last 11 years on the school, uh, school, Wild Lake Schools Board of Education, I'd like to invite to come forward in a very uncomfortable place, Mrs. Kathy Lyle. <laughs> Mrs. Lyle spent three years as our board president, and she served on several board subcommittees, including board policy, superintendent evaluation, and of course, Lakes Area Youth Assistance. It has been a sincere honor to work with Kathy. She has a collaborative approach to challenge the challenges facing public education. She lives and breathes our philosophy of every child every day. She's grounded, she's innovative, she's focused on what's important for our students, our staff, and our community. 
Her support for Wald Lake Schools is immense, and I'm grateful for her service, her commitment, and the way she'll let you know what she's thinking very directly. <laughs> As a district, we're indebted to Kathy for her dedication and commitment for more than 15 years. We appreciated her insightful feedback at board meetings and the manner in which she made her decisions, always asking what is best for all children. She devoted 15 years of her energies and an inordinate amount of time to furthering the mission of the Wald Lake Schools. She began volunteering with the Loon Lake PTA, where she served as a legislative representative and PTA president. During this time, she was extremely involved, advocating in Lansing on behalf of public school, public school funding, and working to change local zoning to ensure Wald Lake students' safety while waiting for school buses. She actively supported PTSA efforts at Sarah Banks Middle School and the Wald Lake Central Band Program as her two children attended and graduated from Wald Lake Central High School. Kathy, you have served this community with class and professionalism, with child-centered passion. You are absolutely deserving of this PTSA Council Lifetime Member Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this special award especially coming from this group of individuals. Um, you know, it's, it's been my honor and privilege to serve this district in a number of different capacities. Um, I think sometimes we often overlook how special Wald Lake actually is. It's not every district that's blessed with an army of committed parents, dedicated staff, our administration, our administrators, and our Board of Education. You know, I'm proud of the work I was able to do through this board. So I, I thank you very much for this award. And I'd be remiss if I didn't add to all of the new PTSA and PTA board members and all of those board members who have completed their terms. Never underestimate the impact you have on this community and the influence that you have. What you do every day does make a difference. So thank you.